Hello, people who like to hear about guitar gear from independent YouTubers like me on YouTube. Well, some of you have already guessed it because I hinted at it here or there on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. But it is happening. Years ago, if you don't know this, I had an idea. Trade shows suck for YouTubers, was my idea. Because we run into brands, they actually want to talk to dealers because Mula, um, and we can't really make good videos there because we don't have the lighting, we don't have the video, gear, uh, the video gear, we don't have the audio gear, we don't have the time. So trade show videos are different. They're more about the people. But we also really don't have time to build a real relationship with the people from the brand. I'm talking about friendships. I want to know what the guy's dog's name is. is, is, is and um, we, don't, we can't build those types of relationships. Now, I wanted to create the anti trade show, one where we do have the time because we spend enough time together, one where we have amazing video capabilities, one where we can really build the friendships at dinner, at lunch, um, making videos, talking, chatting, hanging out. So I created that event and that was GitCon. And the first GitCon was very bare bones in terms of the equipment and the planning because no event like this had, has ever existed, which means there wasn't a lot of trust in it, and it was great. But then they tried to say, well, we get it now. Let's do it the way we want to do it so that it's really much better for us. Well, without the involvement of one of us, not me, but one of us, they don't have all the info of what's important to the channels and what brands want to work with the channels and all that stuff. And these informations are important for only brands to be there that really want to do YouTube. And that is a vetting process. That means we have to talk Skype, phone call with the, to the brands, with the brands, with the people and find out, do you really want to do YouTube? Because otherwise, why come to a YouTube event if you just want to get videos done there and then never call us again? That's not what it's about. So I parted ways with Warwick and went to Toman. We did TGU and it was great. Um, and then we did TSI, Toman, a synth event, which was also great. But I, I felt like... I was working for Toman, I was hired as a consultant, and I didn't have the, the, the right to say what I wanted to say, I didn't have the, uh, the input that I should have had as the guy who came up with this whole thing and who's, who's talking to his colleagues on a daily basis. Um, so I backed out of TGU and said, you do your thing, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be great, and it was, um, but I think it was time for me to graduate and do a truly independent YouTube event. Truly independent meaning just the channels, just the brands, no host, no big company that's got the oversight. The oversight is here. And I talk with my colleagues, I talk with all the other channels to find out what do you think about this? And we brainstormed. And I made sure to find the brands that are worthy of being here. Not just, you pay, you're here, give me the money, no. Um, and not because there's kind of some business relationship going on with the host that means it's a good idea for that brand to be there, uh, which can easily happen with any host in the music industry. Here, the only relationship that matters is the YouTuber relationship. So, that's what we're doing. We're doing it right here. We're doing it in my house, in my living room, in my neighbor's basement, in my mom's living room, in my brother's garage, in Leslie's basement. We'll do it everywhere. <laughs> this is where 42 Gear Street will happen because it's up and down my street. This street will literally become Gear Street with a lot of very good friends and some that I really hope will be friends, people that have never been at these events, like Tom James, Eric, uh, Eric uh, from Living Room Gear Demos, RJ Ronquillo, um, Gabor from Super Fun Awesome Happy Time Pedal Show. So we, we got some new people and some some old buddies, which is always great to hang out with Steve from Boston and uh, Phil McKnight and 
well, Colin Scott, the freaking Irish man. What? I don't know. Um, and, and Ryan from 60 Cycle Hum. Glenn is a good buddy, even though he's wrong. But I love to see my friends. And friends from brands that I know, like Rich from Houston Kettner and Dan from Ibanez and uh, uh, Dan from Rev, uh, Dave Friedman, uh, Dennis from Boutique Amp. So many people. Don't feel excluded if I don't mention you. There's so many people to mention. And I love for the new guys to come in and experience these events, hopefully this time the way that I intended it. I'm, I'm trying my best to create the event that, that I always imagined. We haven't had it yet. We've come close. But this time around, I really hope it's as close as it can possibly be. A great event for the brands to build relationships with us. Uh, great for the YouTubers to create content and uh, meet new friends from brands. I hope this is going to work. We have so many things planned. Uh, we took care of, you know, the food, the badges, the signs, the cameras. I spent tens of thousands uh, to buy new lights, literally lights for a lot of money. Um, and cameras and, and oh my God, I don't even know. Uh, look at this basement. This is all just garden furniture and tables and tents uh, that are bought to make this happen because I don't have the backing of a big company. I don't already have tents or a mess hall or uh, I'm not prepared with a big hall where we can do this. This is all going to be very ghetto style. Um, all the YouTubers will be driven back and forth by me and my friends, Robin, Michiel, Tonio, uh, Pascal. Um, my buddy Hank is going to man this camera right there to run around and do vlogs. It's going to be a massive undertaking where everyone has to pull their weight and that's going to be great. It's Nothing is hosted. Nothing is, no one's catered to. Uh, if someone needs to make a coffee, we're going to yell at freaking Dave Friedman to just make some coffee. Okay? Dave! Two milk, sugar! Two milk? No. Two sugar, one milk. I don't know how you, how you do coffee, but we're going to yell at Dave. The YouTubers will arrive on Thursday. They have the Friday off to do whatever they want. Go visit the castle. It's uh, literally like in the town next door, two miles away. Um, and uh, they are just over the hill, three minutes by car from me. This is all very close. And uh, then on Saturday, we start Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, four days of 42 Gear Street. And they're all hopefully leaving on Wednesday. That's what's going to happen. September 7. 210 7891010 10. put that in your calendar that's when you probably see live streams from here and all that stuff i had to make sure we have internet in the whole neighborhood of sufficient speed hopefully that's going to work out um a lot of stuff to take care of and picking people up from airports and train stations and yeah uh, so we have great channels as you can see we have really really cool brands so, let me just read that, and here's, here's the logo for you. We've got Houston Kettner, Ibanez, Mayonnaise, Friedman, Wampler, Rev, Two Notes, Blue Guitar, Ortega, Maybach, Engel, Tonefox, Lewitt, KMA Audio Machines, Rohrkangas, and Scott Dixon cases. Something very special from Scott Dixon coming. Um, we have really, really cool companies supporting the event by loaning me mics, by sending uh, recorders. Uh, by sending stuff for uh, the goodie bags for the YouTubers, by making sure I can hang things, by designing an amazing logo. That's Mo Stubig right there, who designed a really, really cool logo that's on everything. So we got um, Hosa, loads of cables. Um, and there's individual videos for these brands uh, showing what they sent. Uh, Hosa, Zoom, Triad Orbit, Mo Stubig design. We've got Ampede and their amazing amp switches, which I need for the rooms. And we got Yoshi Luck from Luck Guitars. Uh, lending us his workshop in case anyone wants to do something in a guitar workshop. Uh, we got uh, Morley and Eptech with Hum Eliminators. Uh, we've got well, Peterson, uh, really, really cool. Uh, tuners, strobe tuners. We got GraphTech. Uh, GraphTech guitar labs, GraphTech something labs. <laughs> I've been on the phone for a month to make this happen. I still can't say months. Please, please. Share the news about 42 Gear Street as much as you can. I don't have money to put into Facebook advertising or YouTube advertising. I can't spread the word more than on my channel. I hope the other channels spread the word too. You please spread the word. Tell people to look for the hashtag 42GS1. 
for 2GS was already gone. So we got to do one because it's the first one, hopefully, of many. So hashtag 42GS1 is what you got to look for uh, because we'll be tagging things with that. And that way you can see all the amazing content that's going to come out of this and this and this and my mom's living room, laundry room, who knows? We'll be all over the place. Hopefully they leave the houses intact. Who knows? Thanks for your support. Thanks for the brands that put their trust in me. Thanks to my friends for coming here. On day one, I will guarantee you that I will break out in tears because it's just going to be so unreal that this thing that I came up with is coming to hopefully its best version right here. Uh, I remember two, three years ago, I was flattered when Tom Quayle uh, said, oh, I saw this video that you did, and it's really cool with the slide, and I was like, oh my god, Tom Quayle watched a video of mine, and now Tom Quayle is going to be at my house shooting videos right where I'm sitting. That means the world to me. All of you guys, it means the world to me that you're coming. And it means even more the world to me that you're watching. Because without you, none of this would happen. Maybe, at 95,557 subscribers, maybe at Gear Street, it's probably not going to happen. With your help, spreading the word, maybe we can break the 100,000 at Gear Street. I make that your thing. You're responsible for that. Thanks for watching. Tune in to hashtag 42GS1. Um... Oh, something very important to say. I gotta say this. Even though I backed out of TGU, the guys from Torman are my friends. Yes, I still work with Torman. Yes, I make videos for them. Yes, we call each other uh, privately and professionally. Uh, yes, I do stuff with Harley Benton. Uh, they're great friends. It just went in a direction that I couldn't put my, my brand on. I didn't want to do that. So I'm doing my own thing. And... Um, that's what that is. Thanks, everyone. Animals at the end. <laughs>